folks, Karen here with Baby Boomers Get Online at ksmuscleman.com. And today I want to take a look at this cool plugin called Tiny MCE Advanced. This plugin is absolutely fabulous if you don't know any HTML or CSS coding at all, but you want to build a nice content page, you know, a nice blog post. So let's view the details of this little thing. What the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin does is turns your blog editor into a visual editor, similar to if you're using Microsoft Word or the Open Office Word. So this eliminates you having to know a lot of HTML and still get a nice post, uh, blog post. So let's take a look at how this works. And mine's already installed. So we're going to edit a post here. Now, to use the Tiny MCE Advanced, you have to be in the visual mode. Text mode puts you where you have all your code. This is just text. And you can't use Tiny MCE in text. So you want to go to the visual. Now, here's the cool thing. Say you write a paragraph and you don't know how to get it to, into a header. And you would just go and pick a heading. And then if you preview it, Now it's in a heading. It doesn't just look like this. It looks like that. So that's one thing you can do with it. If you want to indent a portion of your post, you know, for whatever reason you want to indent it, say you want this to, you're quoting someone, for example. So you want to indent it, so you increase the indent. While it's indented, you can italicize it. Now here's what the code would look like. You can always look at the code. So in the text, what it did was it styled so that you have a margin on the left or padding on the left. And then the EM, which is emphasize, this also means italic. And then above, here's the code for the heading. But you don't have to know this code if you're working with the tiny MCE. Okay, say you want to add an image. So we're going to put an image in here. What you do is you add media. You can go to, then you go to insert media and here's your library. Pick the image. Always make sure you have at least the alt text in here. This tells you if you want to center it, put it to the left, if you want it to link to something, or if you want to change the size. So let's make this one a medium. I'm going to keep it centered. And you insert it into your post. Now, to get this image without you know, with using the code, here's what you would have to do. Where did I put that image? <laughs> here it is. You would have to know how to do this code right here. Just to put that image in. But using the Tiny MCE Advanced, there you go. Actually, the Add Media add contact form and add in an insert short code is not part of the tiny MCE. So I apologize for that. That's just adding images to a post. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do with it. This is 
That's if you were pasting something, clearing your formatting, inserting a link. So if you want to insert a link, you would highlight where you're going with it, where you want the thing. Anyway, <laughs> and then you would insert a link. Now you can choose something down here. So say if you've already written a post about images, then you can click on that link. You can have it open in a new window, or you can leave it open in the same tab. Add the link. Okay, so Tiny MCE Advanced is pretty cool because you can let's see if we do a number of list. So say if we want this to be a number of list, you can just and you can do it in say lower alpha. It'll make it that way. You can have a upper Roman. The default is just a number. And if you want to make a bullet point, you can make it a circle, or square, a disk, or the default. Now looking at these in text, you would have to know what codes to use. Tiny MCE eliminates the need for that. You can center your text, you can right align your text, left align your text, take the dent back off, indent back off. You can change your text color. So say if you want this header here to be red. So Tiny MCE Advanced is a fantastic little plugin to put into your blog because it helps you design your blog post the way you want it to look without having to know any HTML. Let's see keyboard shortcuts. I don't know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> okay, say so you want to justify this. Now it justifies it. If you want to put a block quote in here, so say you're quoting somebody and you want it in a block quote, it'll do that. Just makes a little extra space in between the previous paragraph and the following paragraph. I use this a lot for creating my tables. Okay, so those are just a few of the things that you can do with the Tiny MCE. So I highly encourage you to install this into your blog because this way there are some things that you might not want to have to look up to learn how to do the code. And the Tiny MCE Advance just takes care of the code for you. Okay. Alrighty. Hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. If you're on my blog, subscribe to my blog. If you're on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.